सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुषावह ओ शातिशातिशा ओं श्रीगणेशा नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक समस्तजनकल्याणे निरत करुणा नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमानंदमाधव परमानंदमाधव सर्वेदात गोचर तम गोचर गोविंद परमानंदम सद्गु प्रणतस्म्यहम सो वी हैव सीन इन लास्ट फ्यू सेशंस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट सेक्शंस ऑफ एनी प्रकरण ग्रंथ व्हाई बिकॉज दिस इज द सेक्शन वेयर द स्टूडेंट बिकेम अ ज्ञानी एंड एक्सप्रेस्ड हिज एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज वेरी 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 रेयर Okay, in Bhagavad Gita there is only one verse where Arjuna is telling what happened, but here you had forty verses, forty-one verses explaining what exactly that Shishya went through, and he is vocalizing his experience also, and beautifully Shankara Jai has put it into three sub-topics. First was the experience of Sarvatma Bhava that the student experiences, feels. The second was the Asangatva Bhava. where he felt that he is not touched by anything detached from everything and third one which we saw in the last session was advaita anubhava the feeling of that non dual self how everything is that non dual reality alone and of course we saw that the student after explaining everything he started also by prostrating to his guru and he concluded also by saying that it is only by your grace that i was able to go through this beautiful uh, journey and i could realize he prostrated saluted to the guru and stopped now what happened that is what we have to see now verse number 521 iti natam avalokya shishya varyam iti natam avalokya shishya varyam समधिगतात्मसुखम प्रबुद्ध तत्व प्रमुदित हृदय सदेशी केन्द्र पुनरीदमाहवच परम महात्मा पुनरीदमाहवच परम महात्मा 
इति नतमवलोक्य शिष्यवर्य समिगतात्मसुखम प्रबुद्ध तत्व प्रमुदित हृदय सदेशिकेन्द्र पुनरीदमाहवच परम महात्मा इति इति मीन्स दस इन दिस् वे नतम शिष्यवर्य अवलोक्य अवलोक्य सींग सींग शिष्यवर्य द बेस्ट अमंग द स्टूडेंट्स नतम हु वॉज द सल्यूटिंग यू कैन से दैट इति नतम इति कैन गो विद दैट नतम ऑल्सो इति नतम शिष्यवर्य अवलोक्य सींग दि स्टूडेंट who was saluting in this way and how is the student two more visheshanas are given sama ha samyak adhigata atmasukham samadhigata atmasukham one who has well attained the bliss of the self samyak well adhigatam has gone atmasukham the bliss of the self one who has well attained the bliss of the self means what shishyavaryam he is he is the best student but he is also gnani now who the student prabuddha tatvam who has woken up prabuddha woken up to what tatvam to that reality so actually samadhigatatma sukham prabuddha tatvam natam shishyavaryam avalokya like that the sentence construction is okay so seeing this best student who was saluting who has well attained the bliss of the self and who has woken up to that reality seeing this what sah deshikendra sah he who he deshika indra indra means best king deshika means teacher the best among the teachers देशिकेन्द्र द गुरु देशिक वर्ड वी हर् सीन अर्लियर आलो इट हेज कम भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण तोटकाष्टक आलो देशिक देशिक मीन्स टीचर सह देशिकेन्द्र दैट बेस्ट टीचर प्रमुदित हृदय हौ हि वाज हिज हार्ट वाज फिलड विथ जॉय यू कैंट यू कैंट क्वांटिफाई दैट जॉय it is probably more than the bliss of the self also <laughs> why because you imagine the bliss of the self that the guru was experiencing now he is seeing that his student also is experiencing the same bliss of the self what kind of joy it will be pramudita hridaya whose heart was pramudita prakarshena mudita extremely happy punaha again idam vachah param idam param vachah this great vachah words ah he said mahatma mahatma goes with sah pramudita hridaya mahatma deshikendra punah idam param vacham vachah ah that great person mahatma idam this param vachah you know higher words ah he spoke what is happening now after listening to the experience of the student now the teacher is saying again something somebody will say vidji oh, 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 what is the need now done no everything is over upadesha is done now you see gnani is gnani okay but guru is guru <laughs> though the student has become gnani but still he feels and therefore he is still telling the student what not not like instructions or anything but as a friendly advice or you can say as blessing what what is the teacher going to say now the final words of the guru start from here verse number 522 they will go up to 575 up to the end of the text and what what is he saying he is telling now that you have reached that self remain there enjoy keep reveling there so it's not like a it's not like upadesha upadesha but beautifully explaining that now now just just be summa ir just be now don't do anything that is what the teacher teacher is going to say let us read 
वर्स नंबर 522 ब्रह्म प्रत्यय सततिर्जगद तो ब्रह्म तत्सर्वत पश्याध्यात्मदृशा प्रशात मनसा सर्वास्वस्था स्वपी रूपादन्यदेक्षित किमितुष्मता विद्य तद्रह्म विद सत किमपरम बुद्धेहारास्पद ब्रह्म प्रत्यय सततिर्जगद तो ब्रह्म तत्सर्वत पश्याध्यात्मदृशा प्रशात मनसा सर्वास्वस्था स्वपी रूपादन्यदेक्षित किमितुष्मता विद्य तद्रह्म विद सत किमपरम बुद्धेहारास्पद ब्यूटिफुल शार्दूल विक्रीडित द लॉन्ग वृत्त इज देर जंतू नाम नर जन्म दुर्लभ मत सेम सेम मीटर इज देर व्हाट इज ही सेइंग नाउ ब्रह्म प्रत्यय संतति ही जगत व्हाट ही इज डिफाइनिंग द वर्ल्ड ही सेज जगत दिस वर्ल्ड इज ब्रह्म प्रत्यय संतति ही संतति ही इट इज अ कंटिन्यूअस फ्लो ऑफ प्रत्यय ऑफ थॉट्स ब्रह्म ऑन ब्रह्मन और ऑफ ब्रह्मन विच एवर ए वे यू वॉन्ट टू से यू कैन से षष्टी तत्पुरुष सप्तमी तत्पुरुष इट विल नॉट मेक मच डिफरेंस इयर वॉट इज दिस वर्ल्ड दिस वर्ल्ड इज अ कंटिन्यूअस फ्लो ऑफ थॉट्स ऑन ब्रह्मन वॉट डू यू मीन अर्लियर वी हेड सीन वन पॉइंट दैट देर आर फाइव आस्पेक्ट्स इन एवरी सिंगल थिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड रिमेंबर अस्ति भाति प्रियम नाम रूपचेत अंशपंचकम रूपम नाम चेत अंशपंचकम आद्यम ब्रह्मूपम जगद्रूपम तथोद्वय ऐ एम को नॉट कोटिंग फ्रॉम विवेक चूडम ऐ एम कोटिंग फ्रॉम दृगदृश्य विवेक वेर इट इज सेट दीज फाइव आस्पेक्ट्स एव्रीथिंग एज गॉट वॉट आर दे सत् चित् आनंद रूप फॉर्म एंड नाम नेम what is this what is this this mobile what is this mobile mobile is naam this what you are seeing is roopa and for this naam roopa to exist there is a substratum satchidananda which is brahman so what is mobile mobile is a thought of mobile on brahman on that satchidananda brahman that is how the entire world is Entire world is nothing but mind. What is mind? Mind is thoughts. But what is the basis for the mind? Brahman alone. So what is the world? The world is continuous flow of thoughts on Brahman or off Brahman, whatever way you want to understand. Off Brahman is also okay. Thoughts of Brahman only are you know modifying into many 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 things. Brahma pratyaya santati hi jagat. अतः देर फोर ब्रह्म एव तत् ऑल दिस दट यू सी इज ब्रह्म अलोन सिंस द वर्ल्ड इज नथिंग बट कंटिन्यूअस फ्लो ऑफ थॉट्स ऑन ब्रह्म विच मीन्स वॉट इट इज ब्रह्म अलोन यू रिमूव नाम रूप इट इज ब्रह्म अलोन सर्वत पश्य एंड देर फोर यू शुड सी दट ब्रह्म अलोन सर्वत एव्रीवेर डोंट सी मोबाइल एज मोबाइल See mobile as Brahman. Don't see TV as TV. See the TV computer as Brahman. Why? Because it is nothing but Brahman. Its form, its name, is superimposed on Brahman. Get rid of this superimposition. See Brahman. Pashya, Pashya. See Sarvatha everywhere. What do you see? What what you should see? That Brahman. 
ಹೌ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ದೃಶ ವಿತ್ ದ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ವಿಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ನೌ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಹೌ ಡೂ ವಿ ಸಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಐ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಎನಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಗ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವಾ 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 ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ದ ಔಟರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದೇಸ್ ಏನು ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಮೋಷನಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಇಮೋಷನಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮೈ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಮೈ ಸನ್ ಮೈ ಡಾಟರ್ ಮೈ ಮದರ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ನೌ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ದೇರ್ ವೆದರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಔಟರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ನೌ ಸೊ ದ ಇಮೋಷನಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ದೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ದ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ದೆನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಅಪೀಲ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹೂ ಅಪೀಲ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈವನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಸಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫೇಲ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಫೈನಲಿ ರೀಚ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೀ ಅಲೋನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುರು ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೀ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಹೌ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ದೃಶ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ವಿಜನ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಮನಸ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಕಾಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಸರ್ವಾಸು ಅವಸ್ಥಾಸು ಅಪಿ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ remain calm and look at the world from spiritual standpoint do this why 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 should i do this he says ha chakshushmatam si rupad anyat avekshitam kim abhitah chakshushmatam vidyate this is one example chakshushmatam chakshushmatam for those people who have chakshu eyes for those people who have eyes abhitah on all sides rupa tanya davekshitam kim vidyate what is there other than form which the people with eyes can see they can't see anything those who have eyes wherever they look they will see forms a table is there glass is there ipad is there tv is there light is there uh, different different forms 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 why because eyes are capable of only seeing this eyes are part of physical embodiment isn't it so they will be able to see only physical forms tadvat in the same way brahma vidah satah for that sat for that noble person who is brahma vid for that noble person who has realized brahman kim aparam buddhehe viharaspadam since they have seen they know brahman what else will they see buddhehe for the intellect viharaspadam something that is worthy of roaming <laughs> vihara vihara means roaming roaming not mobile roaming the actual roaming you remember there was something called as roaming we used to go in different places now we don't do anything like that now only mobile is in roaming buddhe for the intellect vihara aspadam aspadam means worthy of so for the intellect to roam aparam kim vidyate what else is there 
just as for those with eyes there is nothing other than forms in the same way for those with the knowledge of brahman there is nothing other than brahman which can be seen now that you have reached this highest spiritual wisdom with this vision you look at the world sarvatha pashya on all sides you just see what this brahman what a beautiful thing he is saying why because world is nothing but brahma pratyay santati beautiful explanation brahma pratyay santati jagat therefore just look at the world as your own self brahman alone that is what you should see continues further let us see verse number 523 ಕಸ್ತಾಂಪರಾನಂದರಸಾನುಭೂತಿ ಉತ್ಸೃಜ್ಯಶೂನ್ಯೇಷು ರಮೇತ ವಿನ್ ಚಂದ್ರೇ ಮಹಾಲ್ಲಾದಿನಿದೀಪ್ಯಮೇ ಚಿತ್ರೇಂದುಮಾಲೋಕಯಿತ್ಛೇತ್ ಕಸ್ತಾಂಪರಾನಂದರಸಾನುಭೂತಿ ಉತ್ಸೃಜ್ಯಶೂನ್ಯೇಷು ರಮೇತ ವಿನ್ ಚಂದ್ರೇ ಮಹಾಲ್ಲಾದಿನಿದೀಪ್ಯಮೇ ಚಿತ್ರೇಂದುಮಾಲೋಕಯಿತು ಕ ಇಚ್ಛೇತ್ he is further explaining that last line of the previous verse where he said no those with eyes will only see forms similarly those with the knowledge of brahman will only see brahman buddhehe viharaspadam kim vidyate what else is there for the intellect to roam now that is further explained he says tam para ananda rasa anubhuti mutsrajya utsrajya giving up giving up what that what is that tam what is tam parananda rasa anubhuti anubhuti the experience of rasa essence of parananda of supreme bliss how giving up that experience of essence of supreme bliss kah vidwan shunye shu rameta which intelligent person or wise person would revel in empty objects giving up that brahman which is the source of that supreme bliss which intelligent person will enjoy now these empty objects ha i understand that before realization these objects were very very tempting they were giving you joy agreed therefore you were going for it you found them to be very enticing i agreed But now that you have experienced that bliss of brahman which intelligent person will give up that and you know enjoy this shunye shuka rameta who will enjoy this void inert objects like what beautiful example he says maha aalhadini chandre deepyamane sati sati saptame prayog chandre deepyamane when that moon is shining which moon maha aalhadini which is extremely enchanting extremely soothing aalhada has two meanings aalhada means that gives that which gives joy or that which gives peace aalhada means both maha aalhadini chandre deepyamane when that most enchanting moon is shining in the sky ಚಿತ್ರೇಂದುಂ ಆಲೋಕಯಿತು ಕಹ ಇಚ್ಛೇತ್ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಈಡಿಯಟ್ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಅ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂನ್ ಚಿತ್ರ ಇಂದು ಚಿತ್ರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಂದು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೂನ್ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ಮೂನ್ ವೈ ಯು ವುಡ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂನ್ ಸಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಸಿಜನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ brahman is compared with that moon which is most enchanting and the objects are compared with the picture of moon see it is still the picture of the same moon 
it is same brahman objects are also but that objects are limiting brahman when you have limitless brahman directly available for your experience why would you want to enjoy the objects see look at that what a beautiful see this is called poetry how perfectly it matches and what a beautiful example when directly you can see the moon why will you want to see? ah there are people you know many people will stay in cities etc nowadays we hardly see sun or moon sun we see when it is right on top which is very hot we don't want to see moon etc to <laughs> not able to see and whenever we could leaving that why will we see something the picture of the moon or the in the tv i am seeing the moon in the tv now uh, there are many people who do that on facebook etc they keep super moon recently no super moon last purnima uh, just a few days back the super moon they will see the post are but you go outside and see through the window there is moon directly available idiot fellow not looking at that and looking at this what is that can the picture capture the actual beauty of the moon you tell me can the picture capture beauty of anything you tell me no it cannot what our eyes can see the camera cannot see all that leaving the actual moon who would want to see the picture in the same way leaving that supreme bliss of brahman who would want to enjoy the joys of objects gurudev uh, sorry shankaracharya is not even calling it joy he says shunyeshu karamet it is void objects shunya nothing is there who will enjoy that is what he says continues same same concept he continues verse 524 asat padartha anubhave na kinchit nahyasti truptir na cha dukha hani hi तदद्वयानंदरसानुभूत्यादात्मनिष्ठयासत्दाथाभवे न किंचि नह्यस्ति तृप्तिर्न च दुख हानि तदद्वयानंदरसानुभूत्या तृप्तस्सुखम तिष्ठ सदात्मनिष्ठया असत्पदार्थ अनुभवेन किंचित तृप्ति ही नहीं अस्ति असत्पदार्थ अनरियल ऑब्जेक्ट्स अनुभवेन बाय द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अनरियल ऑब्जेक्ट्स किंचित तृप्ति ही even a wee bit of contentment fulfillment tripti hi nahi asti is not there there is not even a slight contentment that one can get that that one can gain by experiencing the unreal objects nacha dukkha hani hi and not even the destruction of sorrow is possible by experiencing the the objects which are not real and therefore तत् अद्वय आनंद रस अनुभूत्या बाय एक्सपीरियंस अनुभूति ऑफ रस एसेंस ऑफ आनंद ऑफ ब्लिस व्हाट इज दैट तत् अद्वय ऑफ दैट नॉन ड्यूअल ब्लिस बाय एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ एसेंस ऑफ दैट नॉन ड्यूअल ब्लिस सदात्मनिष्ठया एंड बाय बीइंग एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय एवर अबाइडिंग इन दैट सेल्फ तृप्त सन becoming contented sukham tishtha remain happy guru is telling now you have reached now remain there asat padartha anubhavena kinchit tripti hi nahi asti na cha dukha hani hi asti tasmat tad advaya ananda rasa anubhutya sadatma nishthaya triptah being contented sukham tishtha the sukham here is used as a as adverb sukham tishtha remain happily okay 
or <laughs> sukham can be in prathamaya kochat also you say sukham become happy and tishta but it would have been better if he would have said sukhi sukham is better taken as adverb sukham tishta remain happy remain happy means remain happily that's what it means what now you have reached there no remain there why anyways there is no joy in the world of objects what is the point to come down don't come down stay there sometimes this children no i don't know whether all nowadays all these things happen or not but when we were children it used to happen we would go to our um, our family home in the village etc and then we want to climb the tree why because parents don't allow to climb the tree now we are in grandmother's home so mother cannot say anything grandmother is the <laughs> head of the family she says you go then what she will do she will come and stand there and then she will say go and then we will go and then we will laugh and we will smile and we will tell grandmother that you know it is so beautiful i can see everything the same thing i can see from other place but now there is a joy why because i am climbing the tree now we go we go we go and 100 times she will be just standing there 100 times you will tell see look at me no look at me see how i am climbing see how i am so grandmother also looks at you ha ah, very good very good now go there go there go little further now put your put there now go there it will tell everything and now after you reach the top then the grandmother says sit sit there for some time why now you have reached now you have reached there and seeing everything so beautifully now remain there that is what happened the student was you know roaming here and there the teacher slowly 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 encouraged encouraged showed the way and now the student has reached the top the teacher says stay there sukham test why there is no fall from the tree there is a possibility of fall from here there is no possibility of fall remain there sukham test that is what he is telling continues further the same point he says that remain that is how you should spend your time now 525 swameva sarvatha pashyan मन्यमानस्वमद्वयम्वानंदमुंजानयमते स्वेव सर्वथा पश्यन मनस्वयम स्वानंदमुंजान कालम नयमहामते स्वमेव सर्वथा पश्यन सीइंग द सेल्फ अलोन इन ऑलवेज इन एवरी वे नथिंग एल्स यू आर सीइंग नो सी द सेल्फ अलोन स्वम अद्वय मनम फीलिंग नोइंग वन सेल्फ एज दट नॉन ड्यूएल रियालिटी स्वम अद्वय मनम स्व आनंदम अनुभुंजान कंटिन्युअस्ली अनुभुंजान रिपीटेडली एक्सपीरियंसिंग स्व आनंदम वन सोन ब्लिस एक्सपीरियंसिंग द ब्लिस ऑफ द सेल्फ सीइंग द सेम सेल्फ एवरीवेयर एंड नोइंग दट दिस सेल्फ इज दट नॉन ड्यूएल रियालिटी डूइंग दिस ओ महामते O person of great intellect, Mahamati, Mahamate, Kalam Naya. Kalam Naya means spend your time. Ni Naya Dhatu, Ni Dhatu. Lot lakar pra madhyam purushay ko chena is you do, you lead or you spend what Kalam, spend your time. How remaining with the self. seeing the self alone everywhere realizing that this self alone is that non dual reality and experiencing the bliss of one's own self spend your time now here the guru is also telling all of us to do this again the shishya is only medium is telling you spend time with this 
nothing else is to be done now in next few verses four five verses he explains you remain in this in this uh, state with nirvasana mauna 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 means in silence nirvasana without any desire what a brilliant thing to say nirvasana mauna the, the word nirvasana mauna will come little later we'll see that without any desire remaining in silence that is called nirvasana mauna why that without any desire is required because many of us also take mauna but there are lots of desires bubbling inside and we want to tell so many things and then we use different different methods we write and we show or we start doing sign language which people will not understand and then they have to spend more time in understanding what you are saying then you will get more frustrated no? nirvasana mauna <laughs> silence without any desire remain like that that is what he is saying let us see what what is the point the guru says verse 526 akhanda bodhatmani nirvikalpe विकल्पनम व्योम निपुर प्रकल्पनम तदयानंदमयात्मना सदा शाति परामेत्य भजस्व मौन अखंडबोधात्मनि निर्विकल्पे विकल्पनम व्योम निपुर प्रकल्पनम तदयानंदमयात्मना सदा शाति परामेत्य भजस्व मौनम से अखंडबोधात्मनि निर्विकल्पे विकल्पनम अखंड अखंड अनब्रोकन बोध आत्मनि इन द सेल्फ which is of the nature of unbroken consciousness akhanda bodha in that self nirvikalpe which is without any modifications vikalpanam to imagine modifications is like what vyomni pura prakalpanam is like seeing pura pura means city prakalpanam means imagining it is like imagining a city vyomni in the sky so seeing duality modifications in that brahman or in that self which is of the nature of unbroken consciousness and which is without modifications in that self to imagine duality is like imagining city in the sky city in the sky not a new example earlier also we have seen this example why that clouds etc they form such shape that we start to think that there is a city there just like that there there is no city there nobody is staying there in the same way to imagine variety to imagine plurality in this brahman in this self which is non dual is like that imagining city in the sky okay and therefore don't do anything like that तदयानंदमय आत्मना सदा शाति परामेत्य तद्वय आनंदमय आत्मना एज दैट आत्मा एज द सेल्फ विच इज अद्वय नॉन ड्यूएल एंड आनंदमय ब्लिसफुल एज दैट नॉन ड्यूएल ब्लिसफुल सेल्फ सदा ऑलवेज पराम शांति एत्य एत्य इन गतौ धातु लबंत इज एत्य हैविंग रीच्ड हैविंग रीच्ड व्हाट पराम शांति सुप्रीम पीस हैविंग रीच द सुप्रीम पीस व्हाट यू शुड डू मौनम भजस्व रिमेन इन साइलेंस वाह what a beautiful thing again bhajaswa is is a upadesha therefore it is a like lot it is a order you do this what bhajaswa what you should bhajaswa what you should do maunam 
now mauna word also you see what is the literal meaning of the word mauna mauna word comes from muni munehe bhavah maunam hmm. the state of a muni is called as mauna and who is a muni mananashilavan munihi a reflective person is called as muni so what do you mean by mauna mauna means the state of continuous reflection the state of continuous meditation but veji if that is the meaning then how that not speaking has become mauna are you are not speaking because you are thinking about something higher that's why mauna is abhashana also not speaking abhashana also is called as mauna why not because you, you cannot speak or not that, like that you are reflecting on something higher and therefore you are not talking so remain in that reflection of the supreme brahman mundaka upanishad says anya vacho vimunchata give up all the other unnecessary talks why there is no point so not speaking on worldly matters not speaking when not required maunam bhajas very famous story is there no of one of the most prominent students of disciples of bhagwan shri adi shankaracharya ji the four students who were there one of them was hastamalakacharya this hastamalakacharya story is that he always was in mauna from childhood so the parents thought that he is dumb he is not understanding anything people used to ask him questions and he never used to answer anything so they used to take him to different different people and you know treat him treat him do something so like that once when shankaracharya ji was going from there they brought him to shankaracharya ji also and shankaracharya ji looked at this boy and asked him who are you and the boy's eyes just lit up he looked at shankaracharya and started in sanskrit only na ham manushyo na cha deva yaksha i am not manushya i am not deva i am not yaksha i am that supreme brahman and the parents were also seeing what happened suddenly so afterwards they asked him so many years why you were not talking he said because nobody asked me right question all the people were asking me what is your name from where you have come who is your parent what is your gotra what is your this what is it all worldly things first person i met who asked me right question who am i when i got the right question i answered anya vacho vimunchit in in bhagavat also we see the story of jada bharat who later on when he becomes that gnani he doesn't talk why he has understood he has learned his lesson he doesn't speak now unless it is absolutely necessary sometimes we should try this i tell you half of our problems will be solved we have a bad habit of giving our opinion for everything even when people are not asking for opinion all the time talking talking and then what happens now when you talk so much then people don't value your speech it should be like they should wait for it oh they, now now he is going to speak ah veji you keep on talking all the time you know last two years we are seeing you talking yeah that is my job no one hour i come here i have to talk you give me other job that you know you talk i listen i happily i will do that maunam bajaswa remain in silence not like remaining in silence means not talking but because you are reflecting on the self therefore you are not talking sometimes you know when you come out of a concert a beautiful concert ah, so beautiful music etc you have listened you don't want people to talk you don't want them to disturb you and you know therefore you want to go somewhere where nobody is there isn't it why because you are still in that mood of that 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 calm that quietude which you experienced in 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 music and therefore you see indian music 
is such that it always makes you calm even if it is folk music at the end it will make you calm that's the beauty of indian music not like western music where there will be so much of energy that the mind becomes more and more agitated no 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 in india the classical music will always make you calm and once you become calm you don't want to listen to anything you don't want to talk anything many times after class also we listen to class and then somebody comes and asks some question you say it later on we'll see why not now now there why are you not talking because you are in that thought of something much higher now similarly here the guru says that because you are continuously reflecting on the self therefore remain in silence don't talk about all the nonsense things that is what he is saying <laughs> continues verse number 527 तूष्णीमस्था परमोपशा बुद्धेरसत्कलपेतो ब्रह्मात्म ब्रह्म विदो महात्म यनंदसुखम निरंतर तूष्णीमस्था परमोपशा बुद्धेरसत्कलपेतो ब्रह्मात्म ब्रह्म विदो महात्मनो यनंदसुखम निरंतर बुद्धे ऑफ द माइंड ऑफ द इंटेलेक्ट असत्कल्प विकल्प हेतो हो परमा उपशांति परमा हाइएस्ट उपशांति क्वाइटनिंग ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ हेतु ऑफ द कॉज कॉज ऑफ विकल्प ड्युअलिटी असत्कल्प विच इज इमेजिनरी supreme quietening of the cause of imaginary duality buddhe of the mind what what veji one second not clear okay buddhe of the mind asatkalpa vikalpa hetu first let us understand what is this asatkalpa vikalpa hetu asatkalpa means that which is not real asatkalpa is almost unreal what is that vikalpa duality so duality which is unreal hetu what is the cause of that duality it is ignorance now of that ignorance hetu ho shashti vibhakti parama upashanti complete quietening of that ignorance which is the cause of imaginary duality of the mind that complete quietening of ignorance tushnim avastha is called as tushnim avastha the state of peace p capital state of peace what what is that state that state where the ignorance which causes the entire world of imaginary duality of the mind ceases that state where there is neither the ignorance nor the effects of ignorance the plurality is created by ignorance only now because ignorance is not there the plurality is also not there so the supreme quietening of the cause of the imaginary duality of the mind itself is the state of peace buddhe he asatkalpa vikalpa hetu ho parama upashanti hi sa eva tushnim avastha that is the state of peace where the ignorance has also quieted 
earlier Shankaracharya had given one very very beautiful example. He said in the firewood which is burning, when all the firewood ends and that fire slowly is extinguished. You remember that example he had given? Nirindana eva analaha that comes in Gita also. That when that firewood is in, you, you should see sometimes, just, just look at that, how it is slowly shh, parama upashanti. That is what tushni mavastha, that is the state of peace where that ignorance is totally quietened now. No more ignorance, no more duality, plurality, nothing is there. Brahmatmana, Brahmavidaha, Mahatmana. For this Mahatma, who is Brahmavidaha, Brahmavidaha of for this Maha, for this Brahmavit. Brahmavit means knower of Brahman. Brahmatmana, who realizes Brahma as Atman. For this person, Yatra, where Advaya Ananda Sukham Nirantaram. It is that state where for this Brahmavit, for this Jnani, there is Yatra. Advaya Ananda Sukham, there is a bliss of that non-dual self, Nirantaram always, where there is unbroken peace and non-dual bliss. For this Jnani, that is called as Tushni Mavastha, the state of peace. Now, what is the point? You remain in that state of peace and therefore remain in silence. Okay. There is nothing higher than this. That's what he says in the next verse. Let us see. Verse 528. Maunat Param Sukhakraduttamam Vidnyatatma Swarupasya Swananda Rasapayinaha Nasti Nirvasanan Maunat Param Sukhakraduttamam Vidnyatatma Swarupasya Swananda Rasapayinaha Nirvasanat Maunat Param Uttamam Sukhakrita Na Asti Nirvasanat Maunat. See Nirvasana Mauna, I was, I was telling you about it. Now it has come. What is he saying? Nirvasanat Maunat, than this silence, which is without any desires, without any vasanas, param, higher, or other, uttamam, best, sukhakrit, creator of joy, na asti, is not there. There is no greater or other and higher creator of joy other than this silence which is free of vasanas. That's the best. That's the best joy. For whom? Vidnyata Atma Swarupasya. For the person who has realized Vidnyata, what? Atma Swarupasya, the nature of the self. Ananda, ha, Swa Ananda Rasapayina. Ha, again, Shashti Vibhakti. For the person who is pai, who is drinking, what? Rasa, essence of Swa Ananda, of one's own bliss. So, for the person who has realized the nature of the self and who is drinking the essence of the bliss of the self, there is no higher creator of joy than this Nirvasana Mauna. Nirvasana Mauna. Nirvasana Mauna, silence without any vasanas. No desires are bubbling, nothing. Just silence. There is no greater creator of joy. That's what Shankaracharya says. And this he experiences in whichever actions are being done by the Upadis. He remains in that state alone. That's what he says in the next verse. Let us see. 529. Gachanstishthanupavishan Shayanuvanyathapiva Shayanu 
यथेच्छया वसेद विद्वान आत्मा राम सदा मुनि गच्छन्तिष्ठन्नुपन शया नो वान्यथा पिवा यथेच्छया वसेद विद्वान आत्मा राम सदा मुनि गच्छन वाइल गोइंग सपोज इज वॉकिंग तिष्ठन और नॉट वॉकिंग ही जस्ट स्टैंडिंग और इज सिटिंग वाइल स्टेइंग उपविशन इफ इज सिटिंग डाउन शया न हवा और वाइल स्लीपिंग शया न हवा अन्यथा अपि वा और वाइल डूइंग एनीथिंग एल्स विद्वान यथेच्छया वसेत दैट ज्ञानी यथा इच्छा एज ही विशेष वसेत वसेत इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वॉट वसेत मीन्स वॉट ही वुड और ही शुड और ही विल any of these meanings you can tell take means what he would stay as he wishes he should as he wishes he will as he wishes what while going while staying while sitting while sleeping or while doing anything else a wise person would stay as he wishes he may do whatever he has he wants why because he has done finally what is to be done so now what there is nothing that he should nothing he would do that oh, what do you mean atma ram sada muni that reflective person who is continuously reveling in the self atma ram because he is continuously reveling in the self nothing else nothing else he may be doing anything outside with the upadis it doesn't matter he is in that in that state okay so gachan similar verses there in gita also no two verses are there shunvan sprashan jighran unmishan nimishan api etc similar verse what is the point the point is he remains now this verse is actually on the on the brink of the change of topic so earlier topic was that you should remain in nirvasana mauna right now here he is saying that he will remain in nirvasana mauna even when the upadis are doing anything why because he can do whatever he wants now this topic is taken next next four verses explain that there is no niyama for jnani there is no rule that he should do like this he should not do no 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 earlier also we have seen this point that shastra injunction is there only till you realize after you realize there is no shastra injunction shastra does not say anything why because number 1 he doesn't need number 1 number 2 it is beyond the purview of shastra how can shastra tell brahman anything brahman you become like this are he is brahman only brahman jnani is brahman how can you put rules for that he goes beyond shastra <laughs> when we were studying this was one point where our acharya ji used to always go round and round you know there are some loops some used to go in the loop what there is no rule for jnani doesn't mean he will do anything wrong but there is no rule for jnani doesn't mean he will do anything wrong means what there is no rule for him why because he doesn't need any rule even without rule he will not do anything wrong rules are meant for all of us who may do something wrong therefore rules are kept this is something which is very very important and very even in worldly matters this is very important thing suppose you are managing some kids no bal vihar is going on always remember rules in the bal vihar are meant for those kids who will not listen those who always listen they don't need rules so while making rules you always have to think of people who are going to break it that is how you should make the rules shastra does the same thing keeping us in mind shastra has put rules it can be dharma rules do this don't do this or it can be adhyatma rules 
that you know you should have viveka you should have vairagya and you know atmanyana then do shravana manana nidhyasana do this do this atmavari drashtavya shrotavyo mantavyo nidhyasata you should be known what that self should be known for that listen then reflect then meditate these are all rules why because you have not yet reached for gnani who has reached there what rules okay so the next topic is about that okay let us see one verse okay that is the disadvantages of being attached to the mathematics 10 verses will get over 530 that is what is now creating this itch let us see one verse नदेश काला सनदिग्यमादी लक्ष्यापेक्षा प्रतिबद्ध वृत्ते संसिधतत्व से महात्मनोस्ती स्वेदनेकायमस्था न देश काला सनदिग्यमादी लक्ष्यापेक्षा प्रतिबद्ध वृत्ते संसिधतत्व से महात्मनोस्ती स्वेदनेकायमस्था अप्रतिबद्ध वृत्ते है लास्ट वर्ड ऑफ द फर्स्ट लाइन अप्रतिबद्ध वृत्ते है ऑफ द पर्सन हुज वृत्ति हुज माइंड इज अप्रतिबद्ध अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड फॉर द पर्सन हुज माइंड और थॉट इज अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड फॉर द ज्ञानी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर सच अ पर्सन देश प्लेस काल टाइम आसन पोश्चर दिक डायरेक्शन यम डोंट्स यम नियम डूज एंड डोंट्स आदि यम आदि मीन्स यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम आदि लक्ष्य आदि गोल एट्सेट्रा अपेक्षा न देर इज नो अपेक्षा एक्सपेक्टेशन there is no dependence on all these things for a person whose mind is unobstructed whose mind has become brahman for him there is no rule what what rule place find a suitable place for meditation time find a suitable time asana sit in a right posture then direction face east in the morning face west in the evening then then yama niyama etc control your mind control your senses then now focus on laksha on that on the goal see these are all expectations related to the meditation for whom for the person whose mind is still obstructed but for the person whose mind is unobstructed all these rules don't matter they they don't matter hey yeah, for us it is difficult for us to meditate therefore all these rules are said bhagwan shri krishna also gives rules no in sixth chapter go to a calm quiet place then then sit there सुखासन सकलेन्द्रिय निरुद्ध भक्त स्वगुरु एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा इन उपनिषद्स ऑल्सो कई वल्ले उपनिषद एट्सेट्रा दीज इंस्ट्रक्शन आर गिवन फाइंड अ सुटेबल प्लेस कॉम क्वाइट प्लेस क्लीन प्लेस एंड देन सुटेबल टाइम ऑल्सो देन सीट इन अ प्रॉपर पोस्चर बैक शुड बी स्ट्रेट एंड थ्री यू नो दीज थ्री थिंग्स शुड बी इन वन लाइन एंड देन वॉट देन वेरी जेंटली क्लोज युअर आईज then control your mind control your senses now focus on that supreme brahman see desha kal asana dik yama etc laksha the goal etc 
all this is there for the person who is practicing for the person whose mind is unobstructed who has reached brahman all these things don't matter they are not there for such a person like what samsiddha tattvasya mahatmanah for this great mahatma who is samsiddha tattva who is well established in that reality swavedane to know oneself niyamadi avastha ka what rules can there be one who is already established in the self what rules are there to know the self he is already established there are no rules now all the rules and regulations and everything instructions etc were for the person to reach once he has reached no rules okay no rules can apply no rules need apply rules are not not required also for it they cannot anyways but they are not required also that is what happens that jnani has no rules okay further shankaracharya ji explains we will see in the next session okay all right om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं